They are a family used to drowning out the noise of a scandal, but as Queen Camilla led the family for the Commonwealth Day service, along with Prince William, the timing could not have been any worse. Life in the royal family is no walk in the park, and for a monarchy that's used to weathering more than a few storms, events from the past few weeks seem like yet another very public battering. We've seen some serious drama brewing in the form of an investigation that's underway, looking into claims that a hospital tried to peek at the Princess of Wales's medical records after her abdominal surgery in January. This is not the first time Kate and other members of the firm have faced public exposure. From topless photos to tampon gates and hacking claims, their right to privacy is an issue that's consistently under scrutiny. So let's take a look back at some of the things they've faced over the years. One of the most notable of all invasions of privacy can be attributed to tampon gate. The infamous and not to mention explicit phone call between Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles, which happened in December 1989, was secretly recorded and later leaked to the press. And not only did the recording suggest that Camilla and Charles had been engaged in an extramarital relationship for many years, its graphic content also raised some eyebrows. It was a scandal that seemingly haunted the now king for decades and understandably sent shockwaves through the monarchy. Hordes of frenzied photographers with long lenses gathered outside Camilla's Wiltshire home, desperate for a glimpse of Charles's mistress. Discussing the scandal, royal biographer Sally Beadle-Smith told Vanity Fair, it did him and her a lot of damage. His popularity plummeted and people were questioning his fitness to be king. Back in 2012, two Australian DJs were taken off the air after making a prank call to the hospital where Kate was undergoing treatment for morning sickness during her pregnancy with Prince George. The Today FM presenters Mel Christian and Mel Griegness called up impersonating the late Queen and Prince Charles and got through to Indian-born nurse Jacintha Saldana. She innocently transferred the call to a colleague who divulged details about Kate's recovery. An inquest heard that Jacintha, a mother of two, took her own life three days later, blaming herself for transferring the call, which she believed was genuine. Prince William later wrote to Miss Saldana's family, proclaiming how sorry he was that someone who cared for others so much found themselves in such a desperate situation. The buzz was back with Kate again as pictures of her topless while on holiday in the south of France circulated in a French celebrity gossip magazine Closer back in September 2012. Prince William and Princess Catherine were said to have reacted with anger and disbelief, labelling it a grotesque and unjustifiable invasion of privacy, while the magazine's editor, Laurence Pio, claimed that the images were not in the least shocking. A criminal complaint was filed for invasion of privacy and further use of the snaps was prohibited under an injunction. Legal action was also brought against the magazine's publishers themselves, leaving them to pay out a hefty £92,000 in damages to the royals. More recently, Prince Harry was awarded £140,600 after bringing a phone hacking claim against the Mirror's publisher at the High Court. The judge ruled that the Duke's phone was probably hacked to a modest extent by the publisher between 2003 and 2009, and 15 out of 33 articles he complained about were the product of unlawful techniques. Mirror Group have finally conceded the rest of my claim which would have consisted of another two trials, additional evidence and 115 more articles. It was one of multiple cases brought against the tabloid press by Harry and Meghan over the last few years. Finally, we come to the controversial paparazzi car chase involving Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after they attended an awards ceremony overseas in May 2023. The Sussexes' claims of a near-catastrophic car chase reportedly lasted for over two hours and saw what their spokesperson said was a number of highly aggressive paparazzis in relentless pursuit of the pair. The taxi driver who drove the couple and Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, said photographers tried to take photos and capture videos, but said he never felt like he was in danger. 
But however you perceive what happened, it serves as yet another illustration of the enduring fascination with the royal family's lives, shedding light on the relentless challenges they encounter in safeguarding their privacy. The absence of the King and Kate from big events has already brought a level of uncertainty. The last thing the royal family needs is questions about their credibility.